everybody, welcome back to another video, where today I'm going to be showing y'all uh, a really cool video on this little thing, and I know this looks really unsafe, like weird JavaScript, no, this is uh, Roblox, so, basically, Roblox had this little beta client that you can get, and uh, yes, this is real, this isn't like some weird JavaScript scam, as you can see, Roblox player, uh, launch app mode, blah blah blah, I, if you want proof, you can go watch like a freaking shark box video because he made a video on this. Uh, but I will show y'all how cool this is in just this. I, I, I've seen a lot of YouTubers make a video on this, but I don't really care since whatever. So, enter this in your browser. You'll see connecting to Roblox. I'm gonna really just close this window. So, it's gonna look like this. It says upgrading and give it a sec, you know. And come on, Roblox. <laughs> There you go. So here's a little screen. As you can see, uh, we have login, sign up. It will make you log in again. I don't really know why, but whatever. Let me just log in. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in here now. I had to do some login verification stuff, blah, blah, blah. So uh, as you can see, we have my friends right here. We have the home. Uh, I kind of like this, but at the same time, uh, my criticism for this just would have to be I'm not crazy uh, that it looks like the mobile app I think that's cool and it's a cool idea but I just don't think it's really for the PC now uh, there are some really cool things about this like uh, the avatar editor and yes I don't have any shaders on right now I don't know why uh, I, oh yeah I think Roblox updated anyways let me just turn on my shaders real quick okay so weirdly I have to log in again this is the most annoying thing ever but I mean hey man this I guess just this is what you gotta do for Roblox, but uh, I got my shaders on. I had to relaunch the client, uh, and that can be kind of annoying because you need to paste the thing. But whatever. Also, they have this weird little bar up here. I don't know why they have this, uh, but you know, I guess cool on you, Roblox. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I'm back in, and uh, while well, weirdly, well, it, not really weirdly, but uh, my shaders do kind of take up like the whole thing, even though uh, like like the whole pa home page and stuff. I'm just gonna ignore that. So uh, something cool actually about the shaders and client, uh, this, this little avatar editor looks really nice, uh, even with shaders on. As you can see, we got my outfits, <laughs> outfit leak. Uh, but you know, you got a lot of cool stuff, you know. And I just think it's like a really cool thing uh, in the avatar. Editor. Go away, bar. Anyways. Uh, Oh my gosh, this is going to be so annoying. But I, I think it's a full screen thing, so yeah. No, if I don't go full screen, it doesn't do that. But uh, that's a pretty annoying thing, you know. That could get really, really irritating, so. So next up, I want to try playing a game because I don't know, like, the difference in speed and stuff. Uh, and also, I've actually tried this. Uh, you can exploit and use Synapse with this. Now, Synapse is most probably patched right now, but it would be really nice. Yep, patched. Uh, but... There, you can exploit with this. Uh, I have no way to prove that right now. Uh, actually, I do think I have some older footage, so I'll put that on screen uh, if I haven't already. But yeah. So yeah, we have the little this little command bar. So this isn't an exploit, by the way. It's just in my in-game command bar. But uh, as you can see, it loads pretty well. It looks about the same as normal Roblox would with my shaders and stuff. Uh, I will say. I, I don't I can't really tell you know if it's like anything different I will uh, the menu is different though uh, not the chat menu but this menu I know is a lot different uh, the home page you can go to your home and stuff but uh, go go away you bar I, I hate this bar by the way this is the most annoying thing that they could add for full screen but this is oh my gosh anyways so you also have this uh, where you can go to settings now something really uh, just terrible they didn't have they don't have VR mode on like at all so you can't turn on or turn off VR so say you need to like turn on uh, VR mode so you can play a VR game or you're trying to use a VR script you can't do that no more uh, at all there's nothing that lets you change into VR uh, that I've seen yet. Hopefully they'll add it to like advanced settings or something. I, you still got these bars, so I, I don't really know why they wouldn't have VR. But uh, yeah, I, I saw that on a depth form post. They might have updated it because I, I don't have my VR plugged in and like ready to go. So that might be it. But still, a pretty annoying thing. But yeah, whatever. And then they also have people. So I guess you can see the people in game. Yeah, playlist. Uh, they also have invite friends, so you can invite your friends. I will say this is cool and all and I think it's I, I think it's a cool thing but uh, it's something really annoying you can't do escape L enter escape R enter so say you do escape R and enter 
uh, well, oh, so you can do escape R and enter, but you still can't leave. So you can do escape L and enter really quickly, and it just, it, you can't click enter on this. No matter what you do, you have to click that. And that's something I think is really, I think that's just a really annoying thing that I, I don't think they should have done that. I think they should have kept with the escape L and enter, because I use that a lot. I, I like to quickly get out of my game, and not being able to do that is probably one of the worst things they ever could have done, but whatever. But I, I will say, I like these little bars. They should have made them smoother. I don't think it's too hard to, like, tween the bar while you're grabbing it. But, hey, man, that's that's on you, Roblox. That's on you. So, yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool, though, I will say. Like, I, I, I like how uh, they updated it. But I, I think they updated it in a midway. So, it's a bit it's a bit wonky, you know? It's a bit wonky. And uh, it, I, I don't like having to log in every time I boot it. But that might just be like a little beta thing. Let me even check if there's like any of rules or anything. No. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any rules. If you try to run just Roblox Player Beta.exe, it don't, it won't work. It, it really just doesn't work at all. And I don't really get why. Um, but you know, it just goes to the website. So yeah. But if I had to like client review, I wouldn't say this is terrible. I, I kind of like the updates, like the blur background. I think that's a really cool effect, by the way. Uh, I here's my question. Why can't you add the blur effect to something you can do as a developer? It's so annoying. Anyways, uh, UI developer problems. <laughs> Before though, uh, it's a cool client. It's missing some things that are really crucial. But besides that, there's a lot of cool things it has. Like, just the UI and all. I, I appreciate the how they did the UI. Uh, I'm not going to leak my chats. If you want to disable it, just go to settings and click disable beta. But I do think they should have added some stuff. Because I, I really do think, like... It, it, it's kind of dumb how they did like if you if you want to have like a create panel then make a create panel in the app and like do it they should have changed some stuff up okay but it's a cool thing and i appreciate them for making this even though i will never use it i think they should update this though for the microsoft store since the microsoft store version is old it's not fun to use it's really bad you have to when you're typing you have to like hold the typing button it's not good so what they should do they should update the microsoft store version and then that's probably good enough i i don't think the right decision is making a beta app that no one even knows how to get to unless you watch a video tutorial but it's a cool thing i will probably never use it unless they have this i i what i think they should really do is update the avatar editor to be like this but you know that's on roblox i do like the old style though i i will say I, it would be sad to lose the old style but still Cool thing they made. I uh, thought I'd show y'all since you know I I'm your cool. I'm I'm the cool news guy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think you know it could be better, but it's not terrible. Also, please, I hate this bar. This little this little Roblox bar. This is the most annoying thing you could add. Why? I feel like I'm using like a version of Linux. Like I don't want to be using Linux right now. I want I'm on Windows. I want to see my buttons. I I, I don't want to have to freaking try to wait until it goes away that's just annoying and if they did that they should have done it at least just on the home page and not the games but hopefully they'll fix that do whatever blah 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 uh hope y'all enjoyed watching i sure you know I, I think this is a cool update uh even though it's not even really an update because you can't really get it but it's a cool thing uh hope y'all enjoyed and see y'all later bye